You were also saying that um, in your last, I guess, television show podcast, that your life was being threatened by a number of these people in these major groups, and that nuclear weapons were being buried in fissures. Uh, there's a huge fault line right off the coast of Japan. The top part of the fault line ruptured famously with a 9.0 earthquake on uh, March 11th of this last year, uh, causing yeah. between fifteen and $20,000. And well, hold on, let me complete my thought. On the other side of this, there is an island uh, in the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa, which is called Las Palmas, and there is a volcano on that island that should this volcano blow, half the island would go into the ocean, which would then create a 300-foot tidal wave, which for all intents and purposes would wipe out the eastern coast of the United States. About five years ago, the Pentagon and the United States military uh, were having serious conversations about sinking this island a piece at a time, about blowing it up. You may or may not know that in the last three weeks or so, there have been a series of... Um, very worrisome, thousands, if you will, of very small earthquakes all around this uh, this volcano uh, on the island of Las, Las Palmas. Interestingly enough, meaning the hand of God, and the hand of God would literally push the oceans uh, to wipe out the East Coast. And as I said, the military has been talking about sinking the island, and now we're seeing all these vibrations around this island, which could possibly threaten the eastern coast of the United States. Your claim is that there may be nuclear weapons being buried in these fissures, to possibly take out Tokyo and or Japan, should Japan continue on a certain course of action, that being to force the Red Shield global elite to start spending some of their money for the betterment of mankind to help change the future that they seem to be, that we seem to be hurtling toward. Um, okay. Now, first of all, I want to just briefly summarize the evidence that the, the, the tsunami and nuclear crisis in Japan were manufactured by people connected to Jay Rockefeller. Okay. The Federal Reserve Board. Um, we have a, you know, the Japanese security police recorded a conversation between uh, Deputy uh, Secretary of State of the U.S. Um, and a Japanese power broker of the name of Ichigo Ozawa, uh, in which Ozawa, this took place on March 9th, he was offered the rights to zeolite in Fukushima Prefecture if he allowed the, the, the if he didn't cause the government to fall apart because he was threatening to take uh, his people to the government. And zeolite is used to clean up radioactivity. This took place on March 9th. I got contacted by the daughter of a major gangster uh, who said she had to meet me on March 10th. And she set my uh, alarm on my phone to ring at 11 o'clock on March 11th. That's a, maybe a coincidence. Uh, but the more uh, damning one is that on March 10th, the price of Higashi Nihon House, a company that makes uh, discount housing in northern Japan, uh, their stock price rose 40% on one day. This is the day before the tsunami, okay? Uh, and then finally, uh, more recently, um, the and this is something you, you, you guys, if you want to check out, you might be able to find a way to get this person and talk to them. But... Um, Pastor Izumi Pol of the Tachikawa Church uh, in Tokyo had sheltered a member from uh, the Japanese Self-Defense Forces who said he was part of a 15-man team that was placing nuclear weapons on the seabed off the coast of northeastern Japan. Uh, and they didn't know what it was going to be used for. They thought it was some kind of experiment. And after the tsunami was set off... 14 of these 15 people were killed, and he's been sheltered by Christian groups, and he's now believed to be in Los Angeles. I've told this to the U.S. government and the CIA. I said, you know, get, get this guy's evidence, but obviously they don't want to. Um, the other thing is that there's a Japanese deep-sea drilling ship known as the Chikyu Maru, and it was our local news articles showing that they were drilling holes into the seabed right off the shore of Japan, uh, right at the epicenter of the earthquakes, before March 11th, like starting in January. So you have a lot of evidence pointing. And then the, the other one is there's an Israeli company by the name of Magma SC that was in charge of security at the Fukushima nuclear plant. And we also have reports of Benjamin Netanyahu phoning the Japanese prime minister and threatening to, to set off nuclear prices all over Japan if he didn't basically hand over the money, you know. Uh, type of thing. And this has also been recorded. Well, Benjamin, you were, you, 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 were also, you were saying this. I heard you say this. All right, that, all right. Uh, anyway, the back point in is, January. 
The Chikyu model is now off the coast of Chiba, uh, and it's doing something. You know, Chiba is just off the Tokyo. Yes. And it's doing something, and I think it's being stopped. But the story I heard from my CIA source is that Obama ordered a, an attack on Tokyo, and this was to threaten, uh, to try to force the Japanese government to capitulate and allow the Rockefeller gangsters to remain in control of the global financial system. And uh, they were trying to use this threat of mass murder uh, to do this. And some unknown agency uh, has also, you know, I've got contacts through emails and other places saying that the, they would take revenge on an attack on Tokyo by sinking that island, uh, Las Palmas, and causing a tsunami on the U.S. coast. So clearly... Uh, we have some very dangerous people with some very powerful weapons making threats uh, that is not a nice thing, a desirable situation. And the problem is that the people who took over control of your uh, financial system are religious fanatics. And they, they are sure that it's their destiny and it's the destiny of the universe that they're going to rule the world from... Jerusalem, and that they're going to kill four or five billion people on a, in an Armageddon, and uh, then they're going to rule the rest of humanity as their slaves. This is crazy stuff, but they really believe it, and they're really trying to accomplish it. And I received an email from a guy called Vincenzo Mazzaro, who's a cavalier in the Teutonic Knights, a senior member of the P2 Freemason Fascist Lodge, saying that we didn't, if I didn't come to Switzerland and, and uh, you know, negotiate that they were going to start World War III in Iran. And sure enough, you know, you see, I mean, they've been screaming and barking about Iran and Israel for God knows how long, but they're still trying to sort of play this World War III card. I mean, it's insane stuff. Uh, well, well are, you, are you going to go to Switzerland and stop World War III? Look, this guy tried to kill me last time I went there. You know, I said, okay. you come okay. to Japan and, and we'll guarantee your safety and, and uh, we can talk. But I'm not going to Switzerland because I don't trust you. This guy was also found outside the house of a colleague of ours in Switzerland, in Geneva, you know, carrying a gun and a sophisticated lock-picking device. You know, uh, he's a mafia hitman of some sort. You need some better friends, Benjamin. Well, I mean, these aren't friends. These are people who I got involved in because I asked a simple question about why don't the Japanese use their money to end poverty. And the reason was because it was being stolen by some extraordinarily high-level gangsters. Right. I mean, World-level gangsters. And so, I, you know, it's not like I, I voluntarily wanted to hang, out, hang around with these gangsters and murderers. It's just that I had no choice. Right. On that note... Uh... I've been doing a lot of research and trying to figure out what is going on. And, and you know, never mind the lawsuit, what I've come up with is the uh, series of treaties that control the international financial system, the dollar-based system. 